Now is live for us at the park now with how neighbors are feeling tonight. Hi, Paul. Hi, Caitlin. Yeah, the most common word that I am hearing is shock. Shock that this could happen again at Herb Park. So many families take their kids out to play here in the summertime. You can see the playground here behind me. And if we walk just a few steps over here, you can also see that there is a public pool here as well. Neighbors telling me that a big reason why they even moved to the neighborhood was for Herb Park. Now they're dealing with the fact that there has been not just one, but two shootings in the last two summers at the park that their kids love to play in. As we've been reporting, the suspect from the shooting here last night is in custody. A judge recently sentenced a teenager involved with the shooting last summer in her park, Kashmir Williams, to 14 years in prison. Today, we caught up with Michael Reeder, who, just like he is today, was playing basketball in the park with his dad when the shooting happened last summer. He says he remembers seeing the teenager with a gun and was a bit shaken up by all of it since he comes here all the time and lives in the neighborhood. I asked him for his thoughts on a shooting happening again at this park, and here's what he had to say. Honestly, just disappointment. <laughs> it's a bummer to, to see a little bit of a repeat of something like that going on. Um, again, like I, I grew up in Appleton. I've, I've got a lot of confidence in the area, so I'm not used to really hearing about that type of thing. So it's, um, uh, it's a shame, but uh, I, I like seeing the response that people have. And I really, I, I don't have any question about like us being here or anything like okay. that. And Caitlin, I did reach out to the Appleton Police Department to see if they would comment on this. They told me that they could not comment and cited that this is still an ongoing investigation. Live from Appleton, Paul Steno, Local 5 News.